Famous automotive journalist and orangutan Jeremy Clarkson once said that you're not a true petrol head until you've driven an Alfa Romeo. Well, today, Jeremy, I become a true petrol head. This is my first time driving an Alfa Romeo, and boy, what an Alfa it is. This is the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. I'm Jake, you're watching Gas Guzzlers. Let's get into it. Let's talk about the exterior. We have some visual changes for 2024. We have these new headlights right here, and this little V element of the grill will now be smoked out. But let's be honest, you don't care about the exact type of LED headlights this car has. You're here because this car is beautiful. As beautiful as the shape of this car is, this $2,200 Montreal green just really brings out every element of the body. Speaking of green, we got our Clover right here. That is the sign that this is a Quadrifoglio with the Ferrari-derived engine. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But my favorite element of any Alpha is these five-hole wheels. They look absolutely stunning. Let me know what you think about this car. Has the design stood the test of time? Remember, the Alpha Giulia was unveiled in like 2017. I think it is still one of the most beautiful cars you can buy today. But the Giulia isn't just pretty, it's also well engineered. It has a near perfect 50-50 weight distribution, which means if I put this car on a, a sort of a pendulum or a scale, it would remain exactly balanced. That is incredible engineering. It takes a lot of work and packaging to do that. And it has big implications for the handling of the vehicle and how the weight distributes as you throw it around turns. We have our exhaust here, which sounds great, but I wanna talk about that. Anyone can make an exhaust sound great. It's easy to make a loud exhaust. The Julia has a great engine note, which is far harder to perfect. It's hard to put a finger on it, but when you're driving this car, it doesn't just sound like a muffler has been cut out. It sounds like the engine is trying to sing to tell you something. The engine is the star, not the exhaust, and not a lot of cars do that correctly. I think that's a great feature. We have these new taillights. They've been redesigned for 2024. Opening the trunk right here, if I can figure out how to open the trunk, If I can figure out how to open the trunk, there we go. We have 13 cubic feet of space back here. The real question, is it big enough for a pair of golf clubs? I don't have a pair of golf clubs with me, but I'd say so. The interior of the Giulia is exactly what you would expect. Very firm seats and lots of carbon fiber. I really like the curves to the dash here and how the screen's integrated. Uh, it, it definitely goes against current design languages, but I think it looks fantastic. Now for 2024, we have a fully digital instrument cluster here. Honestly, I haven't noticed it. I haven't paid attention to it because I've just been having so much fun driving this vehicle. The rear of the Giulia is fine enough for most adults. You can fit two adults back here. Pulling down your center cubby right here, we do have our two cup holders with nubs, and we do have heated rear seats, two USB ports back here, and air vents. This is the engine I've been raving about. This is a 2.9 liter V6 Ferrari derived engine that puts out 505 horsepower and 443 pound feet of torque. Now in the world of six, 700 horsepower, you might be saying, oh, I don't know. That doesn't sound too impressive, but remember it's all about power to weight with these Italian cars. The Alfa Romeo has some fantastic power to weight ratings. This vehicle makes one horsepower for every seven pounds of weight it has, putting it ahead of the likes of the M3. All right, everyone. I guess it's time for me to become a true petrol head and to drive the Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. I'm real excited for this. Let's be honest, I already drove this car a little bit to get it out to the filming spot, but that just means I know how good it is now and I have a bit of a better idea of how to use it. So here we go. I'm gonna floor it because we gotta do that. Here we go. And the power kicks in a couple of thousand RPM into it. There it is, there's the power. Wow. It's kind of interesting. The power's not stupid instant in this car, right? It gives you a second to commit to the power. It gives you a second to commit, say, yes, I want the power on this curve. And you can feel that engine starting to spin up. And then once it kicks in, it says we're here. And I was talking about that engine noise that this vehicle makes. It just sounds so good. It sings to you, it sings to you. And the handling, look, this isn't a professional handling course here, um, but what I can say is as you put the power down in a turn, it doesn't feel like you're putting power down. It just kind of feels like you're gliding through the turn so effortlessly. The suspension too doesn't rattle you apart. Now you can use the DNA modes in this car, right? That's its drive modes to adjust everything, to adjust the steering, to adjust the suspension, to adjust the power output to exactly how you like it. But I just go with the modes that Alfa Romeo has already designed for you, those DNA modes and race. I'm not putting this thing into race mode. It is too new of a car for me to go ahead and turn the traction control off and all that. Gosh, 
that no it's a weird thing with the with the exhaust note in this car right the noise we're used to the noise coming from behind you from the exhaust but in this car it comes from up front it's true engine noise it, it's really a beautiful sound for a beautiful car and it just drives really nice as you're you're touching this alcantara on the steering wheel the seat is holding you just right it is i get it right i get it after driving this car a bit i get why true petrol heads drive alfa romeos um it's just a lot of fun and this car i feel like you could hit four people it's got the digital dash honestly the infotainment's nothing special the backup camera isn't that good but you just don't care when you're driving this thing you're just out here having fun with a really loud car um but it's loud and it sounds good which is a, a too rare of a combo these days that that transmission too is just so quick i think it's like 100 milliseconds between shifts on this thing i hate the turn signal the turn signal you just tap it and it like goes on whatever hate the turn signal don't like the infotainment but boy uh, driving this was a lot of fun i think I'm gonna have to come back and drive this car again later today. Thanks so much for watching our coverage of WAPA Rally, everyone. This has been a blast. Um, I really, really like this car. I'm hoping to drive it again later today. Uh, it just is fantastic. These paddles, oh, I forgot to mention the shift paddles. Um, you drop a gear in this thing, it goes wow, and you go that, That's the only way I can describe it. The shift paddles are great. They're huge. Alpha does shift paddles, right? Everyone should do their shift paddles this way. I'm calling out no one in particular except for Audi. Audi, your paddles suck. You can't be using plastic in an $80,000 car. Everyone should use big, gigantic paddles just like Alfa Romeo does here. Okay, my time with the car is up. I want to thank you all for supporting so that we get to do fun things like this. We'll see you all in our next WAPO Rally video.